What's going on everybody? Last City Slum here with another weekly reset video. And here we are with my pestilence my, my pestilence warlock, man. I uh I tell you what I really love this thing. Man with the necrotic grips and the osteostrigum. Absolutely loving it. So let's see check out and see what they got in the shop. So first off, we'll see uh the seashore set just like the the seashore say that five times fast. Seashore set that they had uh, last week, they started out 1900 for the whole pack. You get the quadricycle, which is the cool little uh, the cool little go kart. Which I am uh, I'm gonna be snagging that up today. So if you out there and you see me riding around, I'm proud to be riding around on this thing, man. It's uh, it's fun, and I'm definitely gonna try to talk most of my uh, most of my guys and gals and stuff, man, to go ahead and pick this up and let's let's see if we get some go kart races going somewhere. Um, the final instar, which looks like a giant cicada to me, it uh, is definitely a different kind of ship, but I like it. And um, then we have Sweet Sprinkles, which is the ghost sitting in the uh, Simpsons donut. So next on we go, we have style statement set for the Solstice armor, which I am not a huge fan of this season at all. So we have Beat the Heat. I saw this thing in there. Oh, and this is absolutely amazing look at that the little crab cycle right just like the spider that we got not too long ago um but the legs don't flap whenever you boost this one it doesn't flap like he's just being blown away so i'm definitely probably going to pick that one up and this water gun now i'm spending money today look at that i've got the one with the with the two hand cannons so i'm definitely going to add this one to my repertoire and then we have the Grenade launcher for the Wither Horde ornament. It's called Splendid Vidua. That makes it look really classy, man. I like that look a lot. Um, next we have the new exotic ornaments, which uh, for the necrotic grip. I went ahead and picked these up. I I thought I could make it work, make it look like sinew from muscle, but I don't know. I've tried a lot of different shaders and I couldn't really get it to work. But I did pick it up. Man, it's, it's quite nice. Um, oh, look at that. You can get the instar for Bright Dust today. That might save me a little cash right there. So the Crab Cycle, sent at 800. So Gilded Honor for the Forerunner, which is classy once again. I really like that look. Uh, the Seashell for the Ghost, which is pretty cool. Um, Gladiator's Blade Rush for the Daily. We'll see that one more time. The Cabal Blades. I might end up grabbing that one too. Um, Guarding Glaive. They have no Glaive emotes. Let's see that one again. Over the shoulder. Back out. Go back in because it was acting really weird on me. There we go. When you stop emote, Our inventory is stopped. nothing happens. All right, that's pretty cool. Um, so we have Pomegranate Gloss up top. Which I, I kind of like that, man. If it didn't, man, if it just kept my uh, my face all sickly looking, this would be the one, man. That's 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 a really good look. The pomegranate gloss is good on a lot of different armor sets too, though. And we have the sandcastle effects. Then we have the final instar, that weird ship. I'm going to go ahead and pop that right now. Then we have the Tropicasual, which is a pretty cool look for the ghost. I like the sunglass, sunglass on there, man. That's pretty cool. It's pretty dope. Now, I didn't cover this in the last video, so I'm going to go ahead and cover it in this one. If you go down one block to the events, this has all the armor sets and stuff from prior years. Now, you can purchase them either for silver or you can pick them up for bright dust. And, um, which is, it's, I mean, it is what it is. Um, some of them are really cool. My buddy has the original first year, um, Captain Dukebeard. He has the, the first year Solstice Armor in it. It was pretty cool looking, man. But you've got finishers in here. You've got, uh, weapon ornaments. You've got a whole bunch of emotes. You've got a whole bunch of different things in here. Ghost shells. You've got ships. You have sparrows from years past. So this would be the way to, this would be the place to come to find the stuff from prior seasons or stuff that you don't have, you thought was lost, you'd never be able to get again, it might be in here for you. So remember to check that out. 
Um, so down here we have the Warsat Arrival for 450. Pretty cool little transmat. And the Nightmare Emergence. Which I like that one, especially for this season with uh, with these guys. Either the Bat Wings or this one. Works really well, I think. Beach Ball Effects. Bloop. Then we have Golden Age Wine. Don't know where my Just not a bad shader. It's kind of it's going to be kind of hard to tell on the outfit that I have on, but you'll know they're in there. Welded brass. I feel like that was on here last week or the week before. It was on here very recent. But there's the welded brass. Then we have <sighs> oiled algae. Oiled algae, man. I like how it looks. Makes that look like gold, man. That's actually. Huh, that's not too bad a look. If I keep the original helmet, I might go that way. Okay, sorry guys. Vint vintage timber. Here's vintage timber. Pretty good look. Um, then up top we have the flamingo projection. Uh, the flamingo projection is going to run you fifteen hundred. The shader is going to run you three hundred, and then we run on to the gray nitrate for the Shiro's regime. Which I like the way this thing looks. I like the carbon fiber look on it. It's really cool. Uh, that's going to run you twelve fifty. Um, the area dawn for two thousand. Pretty good looking little ship. Then we have the micro mini. Here's the original, the micro mini man. Uh, get the go kart and get this one. I love the little itty bitty sparrows, man. They are so fun. It's so ridiculous. But I would say grab this one, man, and grab that little go-kart looking one. I love this thing. For those of you that don't have it, this to me is a definite must. They're just so cute. Predator Sunshell for twenty-eight fifty. Now that actually, that actually looks really good. I kind of really like that. Um, twenty-eight fifty, huh? I'm gonna have to get some more bright dust. I'm gonna pop that one real quick. All right, teamwork dance. And there you go. That's the teamwork dance. You can grab that for 700 And flag on the play for 3250 Oh, yeah, that's a definite flag, buddy. Screw up there somewhere. Let's go run over here and see what Banshee's got. And then... uh. And then we'll run down and holler at Ada one and see what she's got for armor mods. So Banshee is holding for us today. He's got counterbalance stock. He's got backup mag, radar booster, rampage spec. Of course, he's got these. Uh, Submachine gun calibration. Mm, definitely going to grab that one. Trace rifle calibration. Probably do that one as well. Sword. Meh. And stasis weapon. Man, I'm just getting popped today. Go ahead and grab this. Sorry, you guys. And then we'll move over here to the purple weapons and see what he has. Now, for those of you who have or haven't collected, I think if you haven't, or if you have, there's the original Drang and the original Mita Mini tool over here, still with the Red War logos on them. We have the Typhon GL5. I hate this grenade launcher, just saying. Omelon Fluids, of course. Frenzy, Demolitionist, Spike Grenades, Mini Frags, Linear Compensator, Smart Drift with a Velocity Masterwork. Next, we move on to the Palmyra B with, of course, Hake. And then we have Chain Reaction, we have Unrelenting, Alloy Casing, Implosion Rounds, uh, Quick Launch, Counter Mass with a Reload Speed Masterwork. Now there are other, other rocket launchers where this hits a little bit harder, but once again, that is totally up to you. We have the Contingency Plan Scout Rifle, which is a, uh, it's a full auto, deep ammo reserve, slightly faster reload when the magazine is empty. But we have Kill Clip. Subsistence, which is one of my favorite perks. Acarized rounds. We have a pended mag, hammer forged rifling, fluted barrel. It is an arc scout rifle, and it has a range masterwork. Now, I'll tell you what, I don't have one of these yet, have not picked up one, so there we go. We have the Vision Sidearm with elemental capacitors, surplus, uh, alloy mag, flared mag, far point tactic, and a handling masterwork. We have the Inyo D. Of course, with the Hake surrounded and Fragile Focus. Now, Fragile Focus is the weapon gains bonus range until the wielder takes damage. The bonus returns when no damage is taken for a short duration. 
We have a pended mag, extended mag, full bore, corkscrew, and there is no masterwork on this beauty. Then we have the legal action. A legal action is a pulse rifle, slow firing, high damage, it says, uh, with adrenaline junkie, underdog, appended mag, tactical, small bore, and chamber compensator with a reload speed masterwork. Now, having said that, I will run down here to 801, and I'll say, hey, if you guys, I appreciate you for tuning in, checking out my channel, checking out my vids. If you like what you see, please leave me a like down at the bottom and subscription. Um, we, our next goal is 750. I'm at about 5, 516 right now, and I really appreciate you guys so much. But if you could drop me a like and a subscribe if you have not yet, down at the bottom, that would be greatly appreciated. Love you guys, and thank you. So we're going to go see what Ada1 has for armor mods. Probably going to fast travel, but I like talking to you guys in between. This is our time right here. <laughs> so Ada1 will have for us. Welcome back. She has the rocket launcher loader. Increases the reload speed of rocket launchers. Hmm. Anyway, fusion rifle scavenger. Fusion rifles get bonus reserves when picking up ammo used by that fusion rifle. We have Charge Harvester. While you are not charged with light, any kill or assist has a small cumulative chance to cause you to become charged with light. Then we have Unflinching Glaive Aim. And we have the Tangled Web Set. Of course, these are all super low, so I wouldn't say get them for anything other than transmogs. So having said that, once again, I want to preach. I want, I'm going to say thank you. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Um, as always, man. I love each and every one of you. Uh, take care of yourselves, please, and take care of each other. Until the next time, man. You guys have a great one.